Now this, this is a new double deuce. I put a lot of money and time into this. And to protect my investment, I've hired the best damn cooler in the business. From now on, he's in charge of all the bar business. What he says goes. Dalton. Morgan, you're out of here. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't have the right temperament for the trade. You asshole! What am I supposed to do? There's always barber college. <laughs> you're a dead man. You're out, too. We're selling booze here, not drugs. Thank you. Anybody else here dealing? I'm telling you straight. It's my way or the highway. So anybody wants to walk, do it now. All right. People who really want to have a good time won't come to a slaughterhouse. And we've got entirely too many troublemakers here. Too many, uh, 40-year-old adolescents, felons, power drinkers, and trustees of modern chemistry. It's going to change. Man, that sure sounds good. But a lot of the guys who come in here, we can't handle one-on-one. -on -one. Even two-on-one. Don't worry about it. All you have to do is follow three simple rules. One, never underestimate your opponent. Expect the unexpected. Two, take it outside. Never start anything inside the bar unless it's absolutely necessary. And three, be nice. Come on. If somebody gets in your face and calls you a cocksucker, I want you to be nice. Okay. Ask him to walk. Be nice. If he won't walk, walk him. But be nice. If you can't walk him, one of the others will help you, and you'll both be nice. I want you to remember that it's a job. It's nothing personal. Uh-huh. Being called a cocksucker isn't personal? No. It's two nouns combined to elicit a prescribed response. I wonder if somebody calls my mama a whore. <laughs> Is she? <laughs> I want you to be nice until it's time to not be nice. Well, uh, how are we supposed to know when that is? You won't. I'll let you know. You are the bouncers. I am the cooler. All you have to do is watch my back and each other's. Take out the trash. One, two, three.